power to click this, that would advance the time. Ten days from now, we're going to get a power upgrade. We get our financial report every month. Presently, we are in the hiring hall though, for a new contract because we finished the other one. We don't have any damage we need to really repair, so now we're looking for something else. So we have a letter of mark from the Merrick government, the family Merrick. Merrick citizens have been suffering at the hands of a local band of brigands, so we're going after pirates again. So this will gain us plus three on our reputation. When you go into the negotiation screen, you have the choice of adjusting how much salvage you take versus how much money you take. So we're still doing okay money-wise. I'm going to lower the money to nothing. Hopefully this is better salvage than the last mission. You will lose reputation with the local pirates, which is too bad because you want to gain access to the local black market by schmoozing the pirates. But this is one of the easier missions, so it's a good way to start out. And we can take a pirate mission later to bump that up. So if there's 10 pieces of salvage, we get to choose two of them, and the game will give us 10, so we might want to do this instead, take a little bit more money. Let's see what the difference is. Yeah, let's do that. A little bit more money, a little less salvage, but last time there was only three pieces of, sal three pieces of salvage anyways, so. so everyone's good, everyone's still in their mix. This is where you'd be able to position people. Um, we still want these pilots to gain experience. We have Chunker, Jumpman, Pinball, and the Emperor. The Emperor's in his Jenner. Pinball's in her Panther with a little better shooting than she had last time. So you can see it says Sniper, Light Brawler. The Jenner's a fast strike, cavalry type. Spider is more of a scout reconnaissance, super maneuverable. The Vindicator will be fire support and gets in there and fights. He's pretty good at melee. Oh, Oh yeah, so it's telling us that the, the spider has damage, which we knew. Just have to keep that back left torso away from any fire. So we are landing on the planet. Didn't check to see what kind of planet it was, but we can check once we're on there. It can be colder, which means heat won't be a problem when you fire your weapon to jump or move. It could be hotter, which means you got to be careful, because overheating causes you all sorts of problems. This is our, our report. Our intelligence guy is saying we can expect to face experienced pilots in elderly mechs. Well, that's not good. One of the bandits could be even better. Hmm. So, sometimes your intel is not correct and you end up in a row. Command interface but, initiated. But you can lose when I play it on iron man. Move forward and clear them out. Okay, so if you look over... I remember reading this. Watch the this trees. Guys in this you never know what's unit. in them. Okay, so they're telling us that they should be over here. So if we look at the area, there's a lot of raised areas, which means the spider could go up on these cliffs. The scout could also shoot down into them. Chances are they have a spider too, but that's how we're going to do it. So we're going to grab Jumpman. Jumpman's going to get into a position, a better position for scouting, which means he's going to be doing some jumping. So you can jump. When you do that, it show, the dots show you where you can go. Now we don't want to jump them into the open. If you can jump them in the trees, you want to do that because then he's going to get some cover. Problem is, when you move too far, you can only adjust your arc so far. But with jumping, you can adjust your arc anyway. So we'll move the spider into the tree, and he can hopefully see something. Like that. Spot anything, but that's good and bad. We'll take Vindicator since he's more or less the tank of our unit. We've got to decide where to send him. So if I send him here, he'll be able to see into that valley. He should be able to take a shot from anything that's there. So there's Affirmative. A, there's been a whole lance of four mechs and they all shoot at him. Yes, I've got something. something. So when you first get a contact, just get the contact. He's right outside of our sensor range. Okay, so we know we have some. Good place for pinball to be. The PPC would be up on the cliff if you didn't have the movement. But we're going to move over here. And that may give us the option to jump around. Got it! Up on the cliff and shoot down into the... Your weapon is very long range and high damage. So, we'll take the Emperor with his little, his little 
Mac, and we're going to have him follow. Roger that. The Chunker and the Emperor. Other Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Okay, so hostiles, this could be vehicles. I'm not sure what they are. Could be vehicles or it could be mechs. I'm going to guess that. that there, there's a vehicle on that, like, you can kind of tell by the way they move, but we're in a good position. So, we're going to have the spider, Skipper. piloted by Jumpman, move up into the trees and see if he can see anything. I want to keep him in the trees, though. Remember, he's got that damage, plus, he's not that. Uh, you know what, we're going to jump him over there. Ooh, okay, let's do this. Let's jump him right through the edge. Keep him in the trees. Roger that, Commander. Oh yeah, that's not good. Okay, so we've got a panther, which means the spider's probably going to take a hit. So we're going to brace him, which is going to give him bonuses. Should give him minus 20 up to minus 50, but we'll see if we can draw his attention. So we've got movement. So we're going to jump him into fire. So, we're going to take the Vindicator and try... Waiting for orders! We're going to come into turn 3, so we're turn 4. So actually the Panther's going to try to draw their attention. The Panther can take a lot more damage. And I think we'll do a little Panther to Panther action. Time to fly! Oh, kinky, but it kind of appeals to my aesthetic sense of battle taking. You see, we've got a nice shot there. We've only got a 55% chance to hit, because this Panther probably moved, we moved. Heat's good. This planet. This planet here. Alright, here we go. Uh-huh. Come on, get a lucky shot. No, we missed. Close. Sucks. Systems recycling sucks. for another shot. And well, you missed. Okay, the Emperor has now has a target though. Oh, what do you got? A commando. There's the Emperor's target. Oh, he missed. Spider got missed. Whew. Spiders really are squishy. So, all right, the Emperor. Ready for take orders. out the commando. Commandos have lots of weapons, but they die really easy. So let's see if we sprint. You sprint, you can't shoot. So you don't want to do that. If you jump, you can shoot, but we don't want to get there because everything in the world will shoot at us. So I want to try to get some place where we can shoot at one, and the other one can't, remembering that they can move too. So if we move there, we get a shot on everything pretty much. Which means everything pretty much get a shot on us. So we gotta be a little patient here. So the Emperor is just gonna move behind this hill for now. And position himself so that he can catch whatever comes in on. So let's back him up just a bit. Let's put him here. He can kind of scout too. Roger! Better protected. Okay, that looks so what's that? A commando, another commando. So we got two commandos and a panther, which means we're still missing one. Guy. Yes, Commander. Alright. So we could just stay here and use their scouting to shoot long range missiles at the commandos, but uh, yeah, that may not be a bad idea. So I think we're gonna move. Yeah, I think we're going to move, because the Vindicator has long range, medium range, and short range weaponry. But I think we're going to move them back into these trees. And let them come to us. Now if I do that, he'll be able to shoot it too. But I want to make sure he's in the trees. I don't think he's in the trees there. Aye, aye. He might be going to the target here. Oh no, he's in the trees. Oh yeah, is he? No, I don't think he is, but he can attack. Let's see. Fires at the commando with his long-range missiles. The other commander, or he can shoot at the panther with long-range missiles and a 40% chance to hit with the PPC. That's it. Affirmative. 
start. Just tap them. Here they come, so we got a Jenner too. Okay. That's no worrisome. Jenners can be pretty damaging. And they take a little bit to knock down sometimes. So I'm thinking we should probably focus on the Jenner. Hey, yo. The jump man could be in a world of hurt here, so we can be pretty squishy. So what we're gonna do with him. Let's see if we jump him. We can actually jump him over here and he can shoot at everything. We don't want him to get hit because those any one of those mechs could actually hurt the spider pretty good. But we don't want to make him ineffective either, so if we do that, right there, try to move him so we can get a shot on some without everything being able to shoot at us. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do it here. Maybe we can jump him over here and it's actually gonna hit. We're gonna jump him over here. And then Technology. Him in the back. As long as nothing jumps up here to fight him directly. Give him vigilance, which gives him bonuses, and Grayson, which gives him defensive bonuses. Okay, here they come. And they shot. And they missed. Good. That was a panther, right? Okay, pinball. Waiting on you, Commander! Gonna take an aim shot at Panther. I choose, and you can see the percentages. Take out a torso, it's gonna knock everything on the arm off. And the Panther has this is Panther guy. Panther has medium laser, medium laser. So probably has lasers on both arms. And then the SRM has a torso somewhere. So if we shoot off either arm, we're probably doing fine. So I'm gonna shoot at the torso, which will take off the arm. An aim shot, 65% chance. I'm just gonna let loose with everything from the Panther. Commencing Alpha Strike! Yeah. 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 I got the SRM. There's more nice. where that came from! That was actually good. Is that, that's too fast and too powerful. Commandos, they can hit you pretty hard. But Panther can take a little bit of damage. It's hit by the PPC of the other nice try. Okay, so now the Emperor. Yes, Commander. He's really tired of waiting. What is he going to do here? He goes up here. Maybe you can sneak a peek shot at that. Commander, I want to move him so he doesn't become the target of a bunch. Well, maybe you can shoot that up here. Okay, there's something right there. Comes up here. It'll also give you behind that ridge of rock. So you can also ah, yeah. see what else is coming at it. Probably a bunch of tanks and stuff. Oh, what do we got? Oh, what is that? Commando commander. So we used to have a lance. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. shot. So 50% chance to hit with all these. They'll heat up like crazy. Shut off a couple lasers. We don't want him to get hurt too bad the commando, we should be able to hurt it. We should do a little more damage. See, he jumped and gonna shoot. Roger that. Yeah, hurt it a bit, took out a medium laser, that's good. Inflicted heavy damage. We were only a target of that one at the moment. I don't think the commandos can jump, so they will get yes. I didn't move the panther today, so that means it's going to be easier to hit. So, good to go. Our vindicator is going to move up so that he can do a little bit more tanking. Boy, he'll become the target of everybody if he does that. So let's move him over here. No problem, boss. I got this. Man, no, should, should be able to keep him up pretty far. We focus on him. Okay, so, man, terrible, terrible chance of hitting with all this stuff. So we're not going to waste ammo, we're just going to switch the PPC on it. Well, let's see what else we got. 50% chance, 55% chance. Yeah, let's try the PPC on that channel. Just hopefully 
Copy that. Nope. We didn't. Now, I've never seen anything hit when it failed missed, to so connect. I think if you missed, you just missed. Okay, next turn. Enemy gets to move. We have plus 15 resolve. I'm not sure how that works. Obviously, for not getting damage too badly. Opposite torso. We look at the Panther. It's good to go. It's got its weaponry. Oh, what's it got here? We're shook up a bit. Our stability is affected because we took so much damage. See, our main weapon is in our right arm. And we've taken damage to our left arm, but we don't want to be here anymore. So we're going to jump up here. See if we can get a shot on one of them. don't want that panther to take a shot at me though. So maybe what I'll do instead is jump over here. Maybe fall back a bit and use distance to my advantage. Right, Commander. Sounds like the music's too loud, eh? Let's turn down the music. Okay, let me know if that's better. Okay, so now we're going to see if she has a shot on it. 50% chance with PPC, the Panther, 40% chance. So we're going to see if we can hit that. Oh man, she just can't hit with that PPC. This is recycling for another shot! Even though we increased her gunnery on our last mission. But when she starts hitting, she'll start annihilating things. We gotta get the Emperor involved here. We can take it. We should be able to take out the commandos before we... Minimal damage on that hit. The trouble is, every bit of damage you take costs money to repair, which sucks. Okay, what are your down. orders, Skipper? If he snuck up, well, he's gonna wait. So the other option you have is to hey reserve your turn and wait. See, right now, I don't think he has a shot. No, he doesn't. But he's overheated. See how that heat's gone up? Okay. SRMs take up less heat. That guy's got a little bit of damage. He has no damage. Boy, he's by that guy. We could take the turn to move, position, reposition. So right now I think we're a bit of a sitting duck. So we're going to do that. Jump out of the... No, you know we're going to jump. We're just going to walk over here. Just out of the way. Something can't shoot Move into easily. position. We're going to cool down until the next turn. So we will cool down that much. See that blinking portion? That's how much we'll cool down. And we're going to brace, which makes us harder target to hit. Okay, now we got jump in. Right there. there for it. Okay. But when their panther shoots, and here's the thing you do, you can reserve. That way, if you have a better initiative than the other team, you can choose to do your turn later. So we'll reserve jump man for later. Waiting for the right play. Uh, here's this to be bad. So we have knocked out part of this. Uh, right to hit us. Did hit us. Took out our arms. Son of a bigger. Internal structure in damage. Arm too. That sucks. So maybe I should retarget and take out that Jenner first. Okay. Commander. Chunk is up. Ready to rock. Shoot at. Receiving I you. I really want to take out that Jenner. So, we have 40 40 on that, 70 70 on the Commando. That's probably our shot right there. Yeah, the Panthers and that Jenner. That's the Jenner. Center's almost through on the center torso, which means if you can take it center torso out, you can do all that stuff. But you want to have salvage too, so a lot of times if you just shoot out their legs, that does the same thing and you get more salvage. But this is early on, so we're not going to worry about that. So I'm going to type and take her to commando and see what we do with We don't need the LRMs. PPC and the medium laser have a good chance of hitting. Right arm is on. Scored a critical hit. Do, 
nothing. I was hoping to blow it up. Now jump man can go, but let's reserve him again because I think it's the last one. Let's reserve him again. Until it says done, now everyone's gone. Back. What are your orders, Skipper? That must mean there's other units up in here somewhere. So if we move him to the edge. If you move, the more you move him, the harder he is to hit. Let's move him here. He's taking a bit of a risk. But he's high up. He's moved. He's got a good shot at everything. Might be able to take out the Jenner if it's a lucky shot. That's his only shot anyway, so 55% chance with two medium lasers. Now let's see how Five. you handle this. Yeah, it was leg point, but allows us to target his leg, that will help. Uh -oh. I think the Panther's gonna do it. So that you can see does 10 points of damage. Reporting internal damage. I'm not overly worried, except I've got LRM ammo in that torso, and if it blows up, that can be very bad. Okay, Good to go. Cool down. And now, he's going to do some damage. Here we go. Come on, Emperor. He's got his choice of targets now. Plus, he might draw some fire from that panther, which is good. So let's see who's best. I want to shoot him. This guy would probably take out. The Jenner, though, is really who we want, and we have a good chance. So we are going to shoot everything at the Jenner. Our heat will go about, up about halfway. So it's going to be okay. But if we can take out the Jenner, that's a huge help. So if we do an aim shot on the Jenner, then we can aim at the center torso and try to focus all our firepower. Okay. There we go. This is the big... If we can take out the Jenner with this shot, it's actually going to save us a lot of trouble. The Jenner! Killed there. Target neutralized. That Jenner had so many weapons. They're like, what the hell just happened? Okay, Chunker's taking the tank. Doing the tank. Internal structure damage. The well, bad kind. Sounds a little desperate. Maybe we should back down. Okay. Commander? Okay. Now we got the Panther. She needs to get involved in this fight. Let's see if she has a target here. If we can take out one of those commandos, that one right there would be a nice one. No aim shot, which kind of sucks. Uh, her heat's getting up. Why is her heat up? Oh, okay. So we have a 70% 70, 70 chance to hit. You can see their SRM on that one. 75% chance. And we could probably kill the commando, so that's what we're going to fire. Nice shot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Left leg. This way. Pilot to the ground. And the pilot gets hurt. The pilot's going to only take three hits, so that's one hit on that pilot. Now jump man up in the hills. They still haven't noticed that jump man is on this hill. And the Emperor's on that hill, wreaking havoc. So let's go to go ahead now. Actually the Panther looks like it might take a shot next time. So you want to keep your spider or your fast mech's moving because that makes them harder to hit. Because if he just stood there and shot, these guys would have a much better chance to hit him. So, we're going to jump him to this other hill and try to get him in a position where only one thing can shoot at him. Keep him in the trees, jump him. Oh, there we go, right there, right there. There we go. Problem is, the mech that can shoot at him is, he can shoot at his panther and it's got lots of armor still. And that weapon would actually take out the spider if it got a shot. That panther's positioned itself too well, little bastard. Okay, dang it. You see how every time I get there, the panther's the one that gets a shot. That's the one we don't want to have a shot. Oh, that's good. What's that? Let's do that one right there. All right, and when you jump, you can position your arc of fire anywhere. Engage and jump jet. Here goes jump man, doing what he does best, jump. You can shoot at. Okay, you can shoot at the commando. That's it. He's heated up a lot from the jump, but he's still below his threshold, so. And he missed. Jumping lowers your chance, so. But it makes him harder. That to didn't hit. That's good. So now Chunker's next, but he has to wait for turn three. And. 
Commandos move first. Commando. Commando stands up. So that's some weaponry. He's not feeling too good. Oh, he's looking bad. Maybe some cover. The ground. Bastard hit the ground. Alright. Chunker's up. Commander. He's gonna take a shot. So let's see if he has a shot right away here. Commando. And lots of good chances to hit there. So yeah. Commando. I think that's what we'll do. Let's take it out. Take it out because that commando still has an SRM-6. It's not a terrible threat. I want to start hitting the Panther. As my skill goes up, I'll get multi-targeting, which I don't have right now, and I'll be able to shoot a different... But right now, I can shoot all my weapons at the Panther. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I can tank these two guys a bit more. So here we go. Panther. Target acquired. Knock his arm off. Oh, that's good. We missed with pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and here comes the Panther. Oh, he comes close to punch him. Oh, that sucks. But I guess we already had armor, so we could. Reporting. Ooh. Heavy damage. Yeah, I'll leave you that time. Alright, our turn. I think that... Waiting for orders. Pinball has to get involved here. Um, let's see, Commando or the Panther. Boy, and she's risking heating up. Let's see how she's heated up here. We're gonna take. We gotta go after that one. Boy, I don't know. I'm gonna go after the panther. Firing Ooh, everything go, I've go. got. We need a hit. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good right arm. That's where his PPC was. That's a critical hit. Now it's gone. So now he's just pretty much a missile boat. Oh, the commandos thinking better of things. Oh no, he's a brave little pilot. Close where his short range weaponry is most effective. Oh, both of my torsos are hurt. Lost 10 points of armor. Okay, Emperor, this is your chance to shine. I don't even know if these guys even know that he's up there. Okay, the Emperor has shots on. You guys, he's got a rear shot on the Panther. Your rear armor is always less. So we could risk an overheat and get a good hit on the Panther. to knock off a few of these weapons so we don't heat up as much. Copy. That should do a lot of damage. There we go. Everywhere. Nice. Panther's not a big threat right now because it's lost its biggest weapon. I'm about to lose an arm. It's not good. Oh, stability too. I Where's all my armor? Did, yeah. so you see that little marker there? Alright. Uh, yep. There's Jumpman. Now here's what we can do with Jumpman. We've got a couple damage mechs. And when you shoot in the back of mechs, they have less armor. So we could do our risky maneuver and try to jump in behind the panther and hit it from behind. Do that. We want to jump into the trees. Oh, what's that? What is that? Is that the ditch in there? Yep, we'll do that. So we land right there. This is pretty risky with the spider. This is what they do best. So now he's landed, and we can put two right into the back of the panther. The problem is, you can see that his heat would go way up because he jumped and his fireball his weapon, then we're getting an overheater. Let's try it with one less, even with the medium laser. Well, alright. We're just going to not shoot, that way we can brace, cool down, hopefully we survive. Receiving you. Now we're going to do something a little fun. This is what I usually set Chunker up to do. I usually try to make him a melee specialist if I get the options. So, here's his options. We can target guys right now. So weaponry. Let's see what they got. He's got SRM-6. Panther's only got an SRM, but he's still being a threat. This is the main threat we have. He can do the most damage. So, you can either fire, you can see my chances aren't great, so SRM, PPC, once you get inside the minimum range of the PPC, it's useless. I can shoot my two small weapons, but I think we're going to do something different. We're going to do a little bit of rock'em suck'em melee attack. Here we go. Oh, oh. 
that we have to do it. So, do that. so there he is. We'll click on him. Fire. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, I gotta learn how to do the melee attack again. I can't, maybe, maybe all because of stability. I wonder if you can't do, uh, you must not be able to do melee damage when you've got stability issues. Alright, that's fine. Yep, so we're just going to shoot this guy now. Turn off the BBC, turn off the LRM. Medium laser, small laser, won't do a lot of damage. Engaging with target. Won't do any damage because we missed. Okay, let's see what happens next. We have drawn their attention by having them act behind them, though. Yikes. Oh, he's gonna punch me. And he took out my leg, oh, and he I took out my torso. So you see how squishy he's Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> well, at least he's still got his jump jet. So, the spider jumped in too soon. Now he's gonna get the hell out of there. So, the trouble is... He's gonna... I think, oh, did he lose some... He might have lost some jump jet capability. Oh, no, he didn't. So, he's just gonna... Get the hell out of Dodge. That was not good. Let's see if he can run further. Yeah, he's gonna run back over here. A little get behind cover. Affirmative. That sucked. Damn it. Now I gotta repair it when I get back to me. You can see he's taking damage, he's overheating a bit. Well. Jump back too close. He should have been back further. Oh no. See they're gonna they're gonna focus on him too. Hey, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Chunk is getting his ass kicked. Good Pinball, to go. I need some help from you here. Let's see if Pinball can shoot something and do some damage. Oh yeah, that little commando still got most of what he needs. And SRM-6, SRM-4, yeah, this is the guy that's going to draw our fire. Right now, the PPC won't hit. We are going to reposition her so that she has a better shot. Right here. Put her in the trees. She's still got the shot in the air. Oh, but I bet you I can't get her. Yeah, should have thought of that. The arm of the PPC won't be able to reach over there, I bet. Because I'm too, I'm angled too far. Oh, maybe I can't get her. Nope, I can't. Chance, 45% chance. Affirmative. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. That's what we needed. Critical hit, needed. Commander. Nice strong hit on the only mech they had that wasn't damaged. That had to hurt. Okay, so all he's got is SRMs. He might be coming up to punch me. If he can reach me. No. SRM. So far, so good. Didn't sound good with that little extra explosion. Okay, the Emperor is in great orders. shape. So the Emperor is going to try to do what the Spider did. He's going to jump down behind this little guy. He could also jump on top of him, but uh, I'm not going to do that yet. Until I have a chance to reinforce their legs, you can do what's called a death from above. So, if I jump down behind this guy in the trees, you can see I'm heated up quite a bit, but do an aim shot into the back. We're going to try to get this around six or more of those feet. We're going to just aim right at his center torso. We'll try to bring our heat down a bit here. So we did bring it down so we won't overheat next turn. Put one in the back. what we have. There we go. Didn't hurt him great, but we stripped his armor off. Now, we go to the aye, aye. 
he might just decide to do what he wanted to do last time. You see that orange box? That means he can go and do melee if he wants. So fight that command out. This is what I like to see. So here we go. Something Heading out. For this you wanna go? Let's go. go. <laughs> Destroy his arm. And took a shot. Every time you do melee, you take a shot with the short range, like the small range and stuff. But we've turned our back on someone, so hopefully we can see the command of getting the hell out of there. Get it back off so we can shoot him. Let's hurt our other arm a bit. So we've taken a bit of damage. So he's moved though, so we don't have to worry about him anymore. So what we might want to do is focus on that panther. Yes, Where Commander. Commander? Yeah. Waiting for oh. orders. Wait a minute. Oh, that's nice. Jeez, I remember I thought a generator come from somewhere. All right, so let's see what we can target. Commander? We can target that. Pretty good chance to hit. All weapons are go! Oh, yes. Right ahead. Pilot has been squished by... Enemy down! PPC, Particle Cannon Destruction Cover. Okay, that's what we going after. We have a back shot, which is fine, because our back armor is probably the strongest armor we have right now. I wonder if Jumpman wants another piece of the action here. He's going to reserve. Okay, let's see. Let's Standing by. He still wants that friggin' Commando, he's pissed off about away. Coordinates received. There we go. We're hiding behind the rock. Cinematic. Oh, and we whiffed. We missed the swipe. Commando. Oh, we nailed him with the small laser. Boy, that sucked. Okay, Standing the Emperor, by. however, should be able to get a good shot here. He wants to shoot at the Panther, because that's our biggest threat. If he wants. You know what? I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to do a death from above with the Emperor. So, when you got your jump jets on, no we're not. No we're not. The mech dies too easy. The Panther's too tough. Alright, so we're going to land behind them. Cops! We're going to jump jets up, so we can't really do a whole lot. So maybe we'll shoot our medium laser. Let's see what we get here. Oh, we don't even have a shot. Oh no, we're in a jump. Oh, I jumped behind that ridge of rock. Okay, we're just, we're gonna cool down this time. Oh, suck. Okay, so he's bracing. He's harder to hit. Orders? No jump man. What should we do with jump man? Hmm. Jumpman comes out to see, see when you move it shows you what you can shoot at. So if we want him to shoot at something that's not going to shoot back. Let's see what I'm at. It's still hot. That mech last right over there. Oh yeah, so it fell over. Oh it's dead, that's right. That is right. So we can do this. Just move him out. And shoot at that command. I'm there. We still have two medium lasers to bring in the chest. So, let's see what we can do. Aim shot, and they're on the ground especially. Now if we shoot out the leg, there's more chance for salvage later, even though I think we pretty much destroyed that leg. So let's do that. Right torso. Report! Hit we Critical wanted. hit! Oh, we did damage, so that's good. I'm being flanked. Okay, still hit us in the rear, all good. Damage minimal. Up. So that becomes an option later in the game when you're taking damage. When your front arm has been stripped away, you can realize that your back has about half of what your front had. But you can make your own mechs too, so you might have to put more on there. Matter. See where the Emperor's at heat-wise. Oh, he's having a hard time cooling down. Still, even. 
he could run up and punch him, because punching and stuff doesn't take much damage. So let's have him do that. Even though he's outweighed. Nope, let's have him do that with the commando. Then he can free up. Move into he doesn't have any arms, so he doesn't punch, but he does ram. So if he can take out the ah! that's of course. So you see the commando has no weapons left whatsoever. So you can kind of ignore him. Because he's too light to really hurt us. Waiting for orders. Let's see if she can get a good shot here. So we're gonna get the Panther up in the hills. Got it. Get a shot of the other Panther. Panther has a kill to Okay, here we go. That's good. Let's get a precision strike. Let's get for weapons still. Nothing. Let's choose the torso. Commencing Alpha Strike! Oh, that was good. That was good. Yeah. I hate to see things destroyed Critical like hit. that, but we're just trying to win at this point, so... The Panther, I don't think, has any weapons. Confirm. Right so Jumpman could do this. He could jump over here. He could jump up here. No, because it's going to overheat. But what that was good anyway. Engaging Jump Jet! All in the fight. Yeah. Targets. Shoots both lasers I'm on into the Panther's head. Oh, he's killed by the Panther. Enemy eliminated. First kill of being a mercenary with the Spider. Good job, Commander. People can get back their lives. Mission successful. Look at that. Look at us go. Okay, back to the Argo. So our Leopard class dropship will pick us up. It can hold four mechs, a single lance. It takes us back up to the Argo. Once we're on the Argo, we're going to see how much damage we took. So we have almost 60,000 payout because we took a little more money. They're happy. The pirates hate us, almost to the point of hating us completely. Now you can see everybody took damage, so we may just take a bit of a break here. Chunker got no kills. Spider got a mech kill. <laughs> the Emperor got two mech kills. And Pinball got a kill. Nice. So that was our agreement. There's lots of salvage. Oh, look at all the mechs. Commando, commando, commando. So usually it takes three parts of a commando to make a single one. So I think we want to keep the, out of these ones, we want to keep the panther piece. Because once we've collected three of those, then we could, we could also, actually we could, yeah, well, let's see. See if there's any specialty weaponry here. Heat sink, generic, generic, nope, nope, nope. So nothing here I really want to keep except the ammo. Got to keep your eye on ammo, but you can usually buy it too. So nothing special. Medium lasers are good because we don't have any replacement medium lasers right now. But I think for now we're going to grab the mech parts. I don't want to really want a commando, so we'll take the Jenner part. And now at this point you just let the game choose, and it's, it gave us mech parts anyway. So we got commando. They don't want us, wants us to have a commando. And we got some jump jets, which is good because you'll lose those in a medium laser. So actually the salvage situation turned out good. Six million dollars worth of salvage. If we were to buy it in the store, you can't sell it for that much, but you can buy it for that much. Now we're going to go see who was hurt. I don't think any of my pilots were hurt. Possibly Chunker. When you get hurt, you get hospitalized for a period of days based on how much damage you took. And he got shook up. I don't think he took any actual wounds, though. Okay, back at the Argo. Let's go to the barracks first. So when people die, they go into the Hall of Honor. Memorial Wall, we don't have anyone dead, which is good. Try to keep it that way. But if we go to the roster, let's see. Oh, the jump man got hurt. Oh, so that shot hurt him. So he'll be out of commission for 23 days. He got hurt bad. Damn it. Alright, well, we're going to give him some gunnery anyways to think about. Give him some books. Mech warrior training convalescing. complete. Wow. Yes, Commander. Piloting Guts. So we want to give Guts to Chunker. He's kind of our tank at this point. Guts gives him, makes him harder to kill, harder to hurt. Training complete. And Pimble. Good to go. Piloting? Hmm. What is she? She's the, no, she really doesn't need piloting, so we're going to not give her anything this time around because we want to give her more gunnery. Me, I'm just sitting on the ship letting the young kids do everything, and I don't know why, 
but obviously the Emperor was one of my better pilots as you can see by the four skills here so he has not received enough yet to go up in skill oh, and these are their biographies I haven't seen this before so he was a smuggler he was on a merchant ship and he's from the Davion Republic and he's poor well, I'll be damned Let's see what, what can I do is. for you Pinball was from the periphery, so she was out there belonging to nobody. Orders? Where is he from? He was from Merrick, so he's from this area where the Free World Worlds League, and he was poor also. Which Receiving you. We're doing what we're doing. We're, we need money. Well, <laughs> Junker was nobility from the majesty of Canopus, coming as a reward of service to the state. So he, oh, not hereditary. He was made a noble because he did something good. The service is naturally easier. Well, I'll be damned. Look who, look at these guys. Every one of them has a history. Okay, we go to the mech bay. Because one of our pilots is hurt, we may... We have a commando that's unhurt. So let's take a look at the spider. So the spider's actually hurt to the point of actually missing weaponry. There's no option to repair it, just refit it. We could eat, just repair the, the panther. We may not. We may not. We may just take that commando and go. We may take the leader, so it's just the torso's hurt, so we're going to leave that. Panther. Uh, spider, though, we're going to look at. Okay, the Jenner, we could just repair it. Let's see where it's hurt. How did the... I don't know, you remember him getting hit? Oh, he did get hit a little bit. Right at the start, but he's okay. So we can actually go into action with that. Now, the Vindicator needs repair. He's, I'm pretty sure his armor's almost stripped. So where we have his armor? 24 out of 35. Right arm doesn't... Yeah, no, we don't want to take him in. So if we repaired him fully, it would be seven days. So if we just repaired where the PPC is... Oh, this is almost gone. So I actually want to repair that. We repaired that four days. So yeah, we might as well repair him completely. If we're going to repair him at all, let's try that again. Okay, so this arm, we don't really care about that arm. This torso could almost stand up, but that's dangerous because... So let's repair that. Let's repair, we have to repair these two. Six days, yeah. So four repairs is the only way to go. Okay, we're going to repair him completely. Doesn't make sense to do other way. So he gets repaired. It's going to take seven days, and that is a prediction because a lot of times... Just like real life, it may take longer, other things may get in the way, so right now it's showing seven days, so that's good. So because he's taken seven days, we might as well just take a look and see what everything else is going to be. So we might as well wait for it. Because uh, we don't have enough mechs to form a lens. So we can go in with three. Commando such a small mech, though, I don't really want to do that. Uh, spider needs refitting. Let's take a look at what happened to the spider. So the pilot was hurt. Holy, that's right, we blew up the arm. I forgot about that. And we lost an LR. What? What spider did I have? Oh, I see. Oh, that's something available. So we do have a medium laser, but what did we lose here? Oh, we lost four jump jets. Holy crap. That's why you couldn't jump back up on the cliff. I have no jump jets. Oh, I do. How many have we got? Three. So we got three jump jets. So from here we go to the store. Hopefully the local mech supply shop has some equipment we can use. If it does, you want to make sure to grab small jump jets because that's what they are. And when you start buying... Oh, leg mod. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. What does that mean? Actuator control is we use to perform all come. Oh, okay. So he takes less damage. Oh, I don't know if I want that. I want something that does more damage. So I want to put one of these on the Vindicator so that he does more damage when he fights something or kicks something. But for now, we just need jump jets, arm mod. Wow, look at all these goodies. There we go. I think I'm going to be looking at these for the uh, Vindicator. We're going to go back in and add some stuff. Okay. So we want to buy at least one. That's all we really New need equipment right now. Available. I am going to buy that arm mod. Leg mod. I might put that in the Jenner for death from above, but yeah, we'll buy it. Just because it's cheap. New equipment available. Don't think we lost any heat sinks, so let's go back to the 
mech bay, and what mechs do we have available here? Capuchet, weapon. Alright, let's go back to the spider repair. So, now we have four. Let me put those back where they were. This is the same as the left side there. Nice. Now you could put the leg mods on the spider so that when it jumps, and maybe it even has the option to jump on smaller mechs and it's less likely to hurt its legs. Problem is when you do that, you see my tonnage up here is two over, which means I have to find weight saving somewhere else, which usually means you're going to strip armor off. And you saw how easily the spider got taken out last time, so we're not going to do that to him. But fully repaired, it's going to take him 10 days. Jump jet's back in place, so we're going to say okay to that. Logged and no. All right. Shouldn't Let's be too hard. See the Jenner, we just need to repair it. It's going to take one day, but you're adding that to all the other days. And as you can see, there's only one guy there. So what we should have done is repair the Jenner first. You want to put those shorter jobs in front. Yeah, hmm. Because these are being added to the end of the other ones. It's too late. All right, so it costs 50 pass there, same thing. But it's going to go after the Jenner. So 19 days. So we're looking at about almost a month of waiting for everything to be repaired because I didn't do it in the right order. If you look into our storage, we are one mech part away from making a Jenner, another Jenner, two away from making another Panther, and this is a Panther R, which is the same as ours, Jenner D is the same as ours, Commando 2D, oh, a Locust, where did we get that from? So what we can do here is we can jump into the store and see if they have Locust parts. Because Locust is a really nice little fast, small mech for scouting and stuff. So let's go back here, and we'll go to the store, see if there's any locust parts. Firestarter, deadly mech, quick draw, good mech, way above our pay grade right now. Okay, back we go. So now you can see, in seven days of indicator is going to be done, and I should have positioned these other ones before that, but I didn't. The upgrade for our ship, the Argo, will be done. We're upgrading the power conduits power system. Okay. Commander on deck. We're in the space we're in. We're in Merrick space, so we're in the bottom right corner. And it tells you you can click on these planets. So right now we are about above the planet Claybrook. It's, uh, industrial world, Terran, a lot of people here. And it's the land with the Duchy of Endurian. I don't know what that means. I'm sure it's important. But here's all the other attributes. So high gravity, which means movement's affected a bit. Um, rich, which means the store, you can see the store has a lot of parts, a lot of stuff for sale. So that's good because we needed those repairs. In the captain's quarters, this is where you can make your color scheme. This is where I made the color scheme for spider. The acronym which forms, and this is our symbol. You can also go in here and see how much everybody costs. So the Emperor is demanding more money than everyone else. Pinball is just starting. And then all of our mechs cost a certain amount of maintenance each month. Okay, let's get back here to the Argo because what you do then is you just give time a little push because everything's ready to go. So we just hit play and you can see the days clicking away here. So the Vindicator four days, but also our campaign time is disappearing, but we still have So the Vindicator's fixed. We went back into the barracks. He has finished the Vindicator job. Confirm. The jump man's 15 days. He's knocked a few days off his, his repairs. And let's see where the Vindicator's at. So the Vindicator's fixed. Good. Which means, I think after the next mission we're going to put on that leg thing for the Vindicator. I'd like to keep his jump jet, but if we put the leg mod on, the arm mod on him, when he punches something, he's going to do 10 times, 10 plus more damage. That raises him not too much, so I'm putting that in his arm. And now we just need to lower something somewhere else. Let's see. Could probably lower some back armor. Just keep that in mind. So that the back armor's down a bit. Leg armor down a bit. Almost got it. Don't want to lower it 
really don't want to have this torso because that PPC is too important. So back armor on the center torso. Ooh, 30. Just got to make sure we don't get anything behind us. A little more leg armor there. So we've just done that. That's going to take two days. I think that's going to be worth it. So that'll make him a tougher puncher. So we go confirm. It's going to cost us about 2000 to do that. Right. C build. I'll get it in the schedule. Okay. Back to the Argo. And we got that upgrade in two days. Okay. So we're going to hey boss. Upgrade. We've just completed those upgrades. Engineering tells me it's done. We go down to engineering. Hey boss. Nice to see you. Check it. See, that one's done. There's another one. This one's going to cost too much, so we don't want to do that one yet. But a good idea at this point is recreation, because what this is going to do is raise our spirits or training modules. And this is going to allow the mech warriors to train while they're not actually fighting. So we're going to sure do that one first. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. Because it makes a big difference when your pilots get, uh, get the extra training. Okay, so we don't have enough mechs to fight yet. We have our spider coming up done in seven days, eight days, nine days. Then we'll have enough mechs to actually go and fight. But the Vindicator's back into the shop getting that upgrade to its arms for punching. And then Jumpman, oh, what do we got? Oh, we got some sort of event. Moonlighting with a medium laser. While pacing through the mech bay on a sleepless night, you stumble across the Emperor. By the way, the Emperor is named after one of my boys. Joel Hill, and his name is Joel Hill in the game too, but his nickname is the Emperor in real life too. He is fiddling with a stock medium laser, a jumbled pile of loose metal. As you approach, the Emperor looks up, a sheepish grin on his face. Hello, Commander, I was trying to tune this beauty. Well, he's not supposed to be fixing stuff, he's a mech warrior. Hmm, let him keep working at it. I think that's a good idea. Suppose the store, the Emperor catches up, he says, hey, uh, what did he do? Oh no. He was unable to modify it, so now he's in low spirits, which means he will not be able to use inspiration abilities in battle. You know, damn it, I should have kicked his ass. McCoy shouldn't be fixing weapons anyway. Alright, spider's fixed. Now the Jenner's fixed. Coming to Panther, and the upgrade training module. Oh yeah, we're going to have two more days. Those upgrades you asked for? Are online, Commander. Alright, so we might want to jump in and see if there's something else we could do. Don't want to waste time. Always have something working. I think recreation will be next. Try to keep with the cheap ones, but All we're right, spending too I'll much money. Alright, I'll get the money. team on it right away. See? Oh my gosh, we only have, we have under 500,000, which means that our next couple missions have to be pretty much full money, no salvage. So we go on the mech bay. We had the option without the Vindicator. We have a full mech, but that leaves us terribly under tonnage because the Vindicator is 45 tons, the Commando would be a full 15 tons smaller, so it probably wouldn't have been a great choice, but I like having that Vindicator available. Let's go back here. Alright, Vindicator is ready in one day, Jumpman is ready in three. Okay, let's do this. So we get the Vindicator. That work order you submitted is complete. So we have a Lance. We're going to go on a mission and let Jumpman sleep for another day. We have the financial report coming up, which means we'll owe everybody money in about 10 days. And then the lounge will be around the same time. So we'll all go sit in the lounge and go over the financial report. But before we end this particular live video, we're going to see which mission we're going to take next. Now, the pirates don't like us, and we've, we've been kind of going after them pretty hard. It might be a good idea to go and uh, we need some money so let's go help let's go on a mission for the pirates plus if you make the pirates happy at some point you're going to get access to the local black market so he needs American authorities to be temporarily distracted so they can do an operation as a mercenary you can pretty much go anywhere you want it's understood mercenaries are going to go where the money is so they may not like you but they understand that's the way it is now we could do something for the Capellan Federation too which means we wouldn't piss off anyone in our space and it pays pretty well so let's do that for now we'll go for the pirate mission next but you can see we're on a polar planet which means we'll have lots of uh, cooling down this one's lowlands yeah I like that idea we'll be able to do a lot of shooting here so this next mission should be good 
going after a partial ant of damaged mechs doesn't sound too bad. So hey, we are going to be flying for the Capellans who in the stories I actually hate, but the old Capellan Federation. Alright, we'll see you then. That's it for now.